Hello YouTube, this is Ambi and today we will talk about Python dunder methods or magic methods. I like to call them dunder, uh, some like to call them magic methods. They're not a, they don't do any magic, they are just Python methods. Right? So uh, if you have seen some class files, you will see invariably these methods are used all over. The magic methods are also called as dunder double underscore methods. They are represented by two pre and post underscores. The most known are uh, often used is underscore underscore init underscore underscore that is dunder init method or magic init method. I'd like to stick to dunder, right? So um, let's define a class file. Uh, let's class superhero object in and I'm going to say, what the hell is this class about? Superheroes from DC and Marvel Universe. Okay, that is true. Now define underscore underscore init underscore underscore self name our universe. All right. Self dot na uh, self dot name equals name self dot power equals power self dot universe equals universe. Hmm, that's enough for us. Then I'm gonna create an object here. Superhero. Uh, who's a superhero? Batman. And what's his superpower? Rich. I'd say these principles. Grit. And then, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to say A, enter, nothing, right? We don't want this. I type this, A dot name, awesome. Uh, then A dot power, right? So um, I have not defined any uh, methods here uh, to do this, but when I'm passing the arguments, it automa it's automatically like uh, processing them. So you want to initialize uh, your arguments. Th this is the best place to do it. And it stands for initialize. So whatever arguments that you give, they don't directly go to dunder in it, but they go to something called dunder new. Uh, that is this guy, right? So uh, this is the first method that is dunder new is the first method to get called in when an object is instantiated. It takes the class and arguments and passes them to dunder init. We will not cover this since it isn't used much. That is dunder new and isn't much useful. Uh, I'm pretty sure there will be some people who might have a use case scenario for it. Uh, it is rarely used when you are subclassing uh, immutable data types like uh, a tuple, right? So uh, init is also called as a constructor. Uh, if you are from some other uh, programming language, uh, there it's called constructor. So um, after this, the next one, what I want to pick is this guy that is uh, underscore underscore str underscore underscore that is I'll say two dot mm. okay let me take all this out cell mark down right so the next one is second one is underscore underscore str and then the third one is underscore wrapper double underscore that is dunder str dunder wrapper so what's the difference here let's uh define a a i'm batman right so if i say str a notice the difference so uh wrapper will uh, give you the official a representation of an object. It's an info uh, str uh, that standard str is an informal unofficial string representation, whereas wrapper is the formal official way to represent a string. Wrapper object is used to get the most comprehensive, unambiguous, unambiguous information about the object, whereas str is used for readability. Uh, if you're just for, uh, if you, if it's meant for developers 
other uh, just for machines to use it then use wrapper if it's for users then use str try to always stick with wrapper my suggestion so we will move to another uh, class i mean same class we will add our methods here that is mm, define let's say okay i'm just going to scroll wrapper first uh, str self right I, I will also say print so whenever I, this under str is called i want this to say i'm calling this right So we will know, we will not have any confusion regarding that. Then I will say return F, I'll say superhero, let's say self dot name is from self dot universe. And has the superpower self dot power. Makes sense, right? I think it does. Mm, what is this extra space for? Not needed. Uh, well, let's define our another function here itself. Wrapper self. And uh, well, I will just copy this, take this guy here, and uh, calling underscore underscore wrapper. Right. So now we have, well, both of them are printing the same. Then you might say, well, how would I know which one is what? Right. Well, wait, hold on a minute, a second, and I'll show it to you. So, a uh, here, right. Then I'll say, I will just type uh, A, right? So it's printing, you know, something we don't want. Calling wrapper, okay. So earlier, let's say if this function is not there, um, I will cut this out, okay? And see what happens. Okay, I will just have it pasted here. So A, if I just type A here. Okay, save. Oops, A. Shift enter, shift enter, shift enter. Nothing. So if you just have str and you call this A object, you get nothing. You get the same thing, right? Then you have to just say like this, print A. Then it will print something. Uh, then either you have to go str a that is str a then it calls that one right however if we had uh, this guy here that is function well let's not be lazy control a and control well i'm saying let's not be lazy but i'm copy pasting it here just the same thing we're adding now uh, this one this guy wrapper right uh, nothing much. Hmm. Okay, so we have the new class here. Uh, now, what are we going to do? Type A, hit enter. Hmm, it's again printing the object. I Control A, Control C, something happened here. Let's say DD and paste here. And I will say take this, copy. How did I know? Because the color coding was uh, incorrect there. Wrapper. And here I will say underscore wrapper, right? Save, enter. And now I will take this guy
right enter now if i type a right it's calling a wrapper earlier if a wrapper was not there that is let's say control x and uh, it does whereas i'll do i'll put the wrapper back in now if i just call the uh, uh, object it will automatically take the wrapper so wrapper kind of supersedes str in some ways right not always so it's printing the wrapper batman is from dc and has a superpower rich uh well then the same thing wrapper a okay it's printing the same thing now what if i do this dot uh, dot format a okay i have to put a colon here and then colon here and then do this calling string because it is the uh, string notation right and now if i do another way that is uh, f a well you guessed it it's co it calls the string um well you might say well this is kind of all right i mean uh, it's still not clear right so let's look at some other example import date time and i will say now equals date time dot date dot today hmm. uh that's all right so let's see what happens here string now prints this right however uh if i just copy pay uh copy the output without the quotation paste it here hit enter what happens it does the mathematics that is not what we wanted right it's it just gives us 1987 whereas if i say wrapper now it gives the exact uh, unambiguous output copy paste in the console run it it um, does what it's expected to do now if you want to do a bit more on that then what you can do is you can say a equals uh, str now and um, well, let me say b equals wrapper now right and say i will say eval a 1987 eval b right so this is how you can check uh what's going on there uh, you know how it's working how it's um you can evaluate it and if it says if it works exactly the way you intended then it's correct whereas 1987 now uh, that is not what we wanted uh this is supposed to be date and time not an arithmetic uh problem here that we are trying to solve but this is your dunder str versus dunder wrapper right so sharing is caring thank you for tuning in you have a great one bye